गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोशन चैप्टर ऑफ फिजिक्स हियर वी विल डिस्कस इन विच वे ह्यूमन बींग्स इन विच वे एनिमल्स इन विच वे नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स मूव वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस वन थिंग्स कीप इन योर माइंड ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड एनिमल्स आर अ पार्ट ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स and stones bags bench your car your bike all these are the part of non living things one thing and you see trees plants are also a part of living things one surprise things that all of you know that what trees and plants can move yeah they can move it motion means don't think that only change of position motion means change of direction is also there for example human being move one place to another place animals moves one place to another place it means what this is the change of position but if you thinks about trees plants then you see the growth of plants you see the branches of plants that they turn they move one direction to another direction and in this universe no any object is absolutely in rest position and absolutely in motion for example suppose this chalk holder is there or marker is there so yeah this is the marker this marker is there if you keep this marker on earth surface then earth is in rest position this marker is also in rest position but all of you know in planetary motion earth revolve around the sun if we consider this marker earth with respect to the sun then earth as well as this marker is also in motion why because earth revolve around the sun understood all of you move through the, your legs animals also non living things just to take the example a stone is there it is non living things but it is also in motion and when motion will be there when you apply force on this stone when you apply force on this stone what happen just this stone start to roll then what their position change or not change yeah their position change now in motion chapter we will discuss about the position of a body with respect to a fixed point before discussing this chapter first we discuss a uh, first we want to know that what is object what is body because in physics chapter in physics anywhere you go today you search on your page when you open your physics book every page we are discussing about any things there one word you will see that an object is a body is then first we want to know that what is an object what is a body now let us see 
object or body a thing which we can see touch and feel is called an object or a body how you know that this is the stone that is the ball in which way you know when you touch it right now when you touch it when you see it and also you feel it then all of you tell yeah it is a object or body now next things in which way you know a body is in rest position a body is in motion have you any idea why all of you telling sir i am in motion that student is not in motion why you know beta when your position change with respect to a fixed point then we call that body is motion okay now you see what is state of rest means when you tell when you say sir i am in rest position then you see state of rest what is state of rest the objects which remain fixed at their position and do not change their position it means the objects which do not change their position are said to be at rest means if your position is not changed if you don't change your position then we call that you are in rest position now what is motion you see a state of motion the objects which keep on changing their position that is the object which change their position are said to be in motion all of you understood it means when a body is in rest position when a body is in motion but a question is here how you know that body in rest position and body is in motion for this all of you compare your position from a point and that point you consider a fixed point and that fixed point is called reference point reference point class you see it is very important question important question is there what is reference point reference point what is the first point you see to know whether a body is at rest or in motion we must have a known fixed point anywhere in space this fixed point is called reference point take a example suppose when you start to move from your house then your house is fixed point why you compare you measure how many kilometer how many meters you walk from one place to another place then from where you measure from your house it means what your house is refer next point is in which way we describe the position of an object means how is the position of an object described but up to describe the position of an object there are two parameters we use two parameters first parameter is the distance of the object from a fixed point fixed point already you know it fixed point means reference point for example position of your school with respect to your house then 
what is this this is the house this house is reference point right now this house is reference point and whose position you whose position you whose distance you consider is cool then the distance of the object from a fixed point is described by length distance between two body distance between two body second parameter is the direction of the object the direction of the object means what the direction of object described by the angle which the line joining the object and the fixed or reference point now your question is uh, sir in which way direction is there but all of you know in maths coordinate geometric cartesian plane is there in cartesian plane x axis and y axis there and where both axis intersect to each other that point is origin similarly geographical axis geographical axis means same geographical axis is same as the coordinate axis means east west north south and where both axis means line segment of east to west north to south intersect to each other that point is origin and this origin is reference point understood all of understood or not means where x axis and y axis intersect to each other that is origin and this origin is fixed point fixed point means reference point same as the line segment joining of direction east west north and south and where they intersect to each other that point is origin and this origin is what reference point in coordinate axis in geographical axis all of it in i am east direction i am west direction i am in south direction then what you in which way you describe your position direction direction means angle means from a fixed position what is your direction what is your direction means how many degree angle you form from fixed point okay now today we discussed about object or body state of rest state of motion reference point how is the position of an object described how many parameters are there right now now all of you write some questions and beta listen next day first i will check i will ask answer of the question don't think that that in which way i will check. it's my responsibility is there that i will check right now okay now all of you note down question please quickly all of you note down question question number 1 is what is meant by a body please write what is meant by a body at rest and in motion next question which two parameters are to be just which two parameters are to be specified for describing the position of an object now third question 
वाई आर द स्टेट ऑफ मोशन एंड रेस्ट कंसिडर्ड रिलेटिव ओके थैंक यू